Recently, I was working on a project about upper and lower voltage protection circuit. The circuit turns on slash off a relay according to the mains voltage. Here I have used LM393 dual comparator IC for checking the voltage if it is in certain range or not. I will talk more about the project in the future video. For now, let's jump into our topic whether we should buy branded electronics or cheap electronics. Let's get into it. First off, let's talk about the basics of the circuit. The circuit needs two input. One is a constant 12 volt input for running the circuit and another is a variable voltage from which we can determine whether the voltage is low or high. A relay is connected in such a way that if the voltage is in certain limit then only the relay will be on and if the voltage is upper slash lower then the relay will be off. Then I gathered all the components and made the circuit on the breadboard. At next, I used my power supply and set the voltage at 12 volts. Now I need a variable power supply. I don't have the variable power supply once, so I used the boost converter module. After checking once again the circuit, I turned on my power supply. I found it was not working properly. The most irritating part was the green LED was on but the relay was off. After lots of troubleshooting, I found the error and this was my first time when I got this type of annoying error. Let me explain. There are two transistors used in the project. One is BC557 PNP transistor which is basically used for sensing the negative pulses and the negative pulses will be converted into positive pulses by the BC547 NPN transistor. Now the error was in the cheap BC547 transistor. Now let me tell you first how the NPN transistor works. If I give the positive signal in the base of the NPN transistor, then the current will flow from collector to emitter. So it means that the circuit which is connected in series with the collector will be powered up. I have made the same circuit in the breadboard and here you can see when I connect the base wire with the positive voltage through a register then the LED is not glowing. Now if I connect the base wire with the emitter pin I mean the negative pin or the ground then you can see the LED is turning on. So it means that it is printing mistake or something mistake happened here. Ok guys, so let's perform the same test with the branded BC547 NPN transistor. Here you can see, when I connect the base wire with the emitter pin, then the LED is not glowing. Now if I connect the base wire with the positive, then you can see the LED is glowing. So the branded version works flawlessly. That's why this video has been sponsored by utsource.net. It is a provisional tool in electronic components field. UTSource provides different type of things such as ICs, modules, RF transistors and much more. For this project, I have ordered some components from their website and you can see the quality. It is just great and I have only paid few dollars. Check out the UTSource website from the link in the description box below. So guys, I will highly recommend you to buy all the components from the branded shop. I know the price is higher but the quality product you are getting is worth it. So guys that's pretty much enough for this video. I hope you have a great day. Thank you so much for watching and this is Creative Creator signing out. Hope to see you guys in my next video. Peace out.